A home isn't just an investment, it's a commitment, and home buying is not easy, but what about investment properties? What are the first steps, and how do you choose the right one? Well, Mint Group Mortgages, Grayson Watts, your mortgage lady, is here to answer all of those questions. Welcome back, Grayson. Thanks for having me. So this is something I know you've kind of touched on before. Investment properties are a really big thing in our area right now. Yes, they are, which is surprising with rates being up a little bit. Yeah, so but you're still seeing it despite, yes. okay, interesting. So yes. where do you begin if you're hoping to get into um, buying your investment property? So a lot of lenders are making it a good bit easier right now to, mm -hmm. uh, to buy an investment property. So if you already own your first home and you're living there and it's your primary mm -hmm. residence and you're thinking about buying something for a rental or a short term like an Airbnb property, mm -hmm. The best thing to do first is to come see somebody like me and mm -hmm. get pre-approved, but I'll connect you with a realtor who specializes in investment properties because it can be different. Okay. The, the realtor that you have, you need them to be looking for different things, mm -hmm. not just like, this is where I'm going to live, yeah. but they want... You want somebody who knows how to look at the numbers mm -hmm. and the rental calculations and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But once you find the realtor that's a great match for you, you go out and, and find the property and you, you pretty much always need 20% down. But mm -hmm. once you've got that down payment, the lending part has gotten really easy for mm -hmm. investment properties. What we're going to do is we're going to qualify you on the cash flow of the investment property. So instead of getting your income and your tax returns yeah. and your bank statements and things like that, we still need bank statements, but mm -hmm. um, W-2s and pay stubs, we're going to be looking at that property to make sure the property income will cover the mortgage payment. Wow. So this is before you even actually start making that money. Yes. Wow. Yes. And we go off of the projected rental. So it doesn't even have to be rented yet. We get a, um, a projected rental income amount from the appraiser. Hmm. And we take that number and um, make sure that it, it we, we hope that it covers the whole payment. If it doesn't quite cover the payment, you're still okay. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, th we close a lot of these and, and they, they do really well. Mm -hmm. any, any tips when you're looking at properties right now? Any tips on, you know, how do you find the right one? How do you know that's a good investment property? Well, I would say you have to really rely on your realtor for that. Mm -hmm. And also, you have to get a, a, a a property inspection. Mm. Very important. The property inspector is going to tell you little things mm -hmm. and if it's not your all the time property, you really want to get it inspected because you're not going to be there. Yeah. So if a little problem happens here or there, you mm -hmm. want to be able to know it ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's still a fine time to get into this. Yes. So you would recommend investment properties right now? Absolutely. Okay. And the, um, the properties that are out there on the market, they're few and far between, but if you find one that's a fixer-upper or something that just needs a little bit of love mm -hmm. and you can get a good deal on it, it's, it's really smart. I even have a program that's called Fix and Flip mm. for the investor who wants to come in and redo it and, and resell yeah. it. So there are all kinds of neat options out there that we didn't used to have. Yeah, and people love doing that these yes, days Yes, especially the people who love to watch HDTV yes, and yes. they get in there and there are a lot of people who do it. Yeah, it's fun to do a little pro a little project. It's not that little when you're doing a whole house. Right. But yeah. <laughs> All right, Grayson. Exactly. Um, how can people contact you to get help? MintGroupMortgage.com is my website, and also YourMortgageLady.com is another choice. But um, definitely reach out. I'm happy to help. I love my job. Awesome. I'm ready to get to it. Yeah. Well, Grayson, thank you so much. Thank you.